How did you manage to steal my life? I just came from the fashion show. Annie's there. She's worried about you. That's not an answer. I didn't steal your life. If you had your memory, you'd know that. You see, that's the thing. That's the thing. The only window that I have in those four years is what people have been telling me. So what I've started doing is I've been doing a little bit of research. What did you find out? What did I find out? That my baby sister was brutally murdered by a man that I thought was dead. Alexander Cambius. Your father. The man that gave me this company. So what I would like to know is how did you end up with it? With this? With my son? With the woman I love? I mean, is this just all one big coincidence? Or do I start taking it personally? That's a pregnancy test. Really? And you're holding it. I know. Are you pregnant? I... I have an upset stomach. Okay, and I, I, I'm sure that Spike probably just brought something home from his playgroup. <laughs> then why did you buy the test? It was a stupid impulse. Okay, I'm sure I'm not pregnant. Only one way to find out. No, 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 Queenly, I do not want to do this right now. If you don't, you'll be thinking about it all day. And Fusion can't afford you thinking about anything other than this fashion show. Yes, you're right. So let's just forget about the stupid test. Aiden said that you threw up on the plane to Chicago. Greenlee, I can't. Why not? Can't. Because it's it's embarrassing. The entire process. I mean, you know what I have to do with this thing. You're not embarrassed. But I think I know the real reason why you don't want to take that test in front of me. I've had a lot to process in the last few days. I'm going to let that slide. Your father brutally murdered my sister. My father is a sick man. That's why I turned my back on him a long time ago. I never turned back. Well, maybe if you had stuck around and faced the son of a bitch, then good people like Aaron and like Simone would still be alive today. And he tried to kill Kendall too, but we stopped him. You were there. But don't, don't, don't do that. Don't try to make us seem like a team because it doesn't, I don't, I don't know you. I don't trust you. You should. And what about the company? What about my job? My father's still alive, so the terms of his will no longer apply. Wow. Isn't that convenient for you? I asked you to run Cambius with me. You turned me down because of what happened to Aaron. You see, that's where you have a distinct advantage here. You can spin the words a little bit, you know? You, you can make me hear what, I, what you want me to hear. You can make it all sound so logical. Well, then you need to ask somebody that you do trust. Ask Greenlee or ask Kendall. Believe me, I will. I'm sorry, I'm sorry what happened to Aaron. Don't, 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 don't do that. I don't want your, I don't want your pity. I don't want your sympathy. What I, do I, you I, want? I want my life back. Okay, this is ridiculous. Greenlee, we have a, a crowd of people waiting for us to put on the, the fashion show of the century, and you're obsessing over me peeing on a stick. Nice try. Not buying it. Okay, all right, then what? Oh, wise woman, what, what do you think is really going on here? You're just trying to be considerate of my feelings because I can't have children. And you already have Spike and Ian. Greenlee, I never meant to make you feel that Listen, way. Just because I can't have kids doesn't mean I don't want you to have the biggest family there is. So if having another baby will make you happy, I said go for it. Yeah, well, I... I don't think the timing is right. Well, what does Zach think? Well, Zach doesn't know anything about this, and you can't ever tell him. Why would I tell Zach that you might be pregnant? I mean, that's your news to tell. Or not. But for what it's worth, I bet he'd think it's great news. All right, like I said, it's probably just a stomach virus. So for today, can we just forget we ever had this conversation? we have got to go put on a show. You ready? Okay. Let's give this town a show they'll never forget. Okay. I'm telling you, oh, Kendall! Like... Excuse me. I, I, I have to speak to Kendall for Please. just a moment. Kendall! I've been looking all over for you, honey. Oh, I, I was just in the bathroom. Did you take the test? 
None. Fusion is co-sponsoring this entire event, okay? I don't really have time to- Just answer my question. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I took the test and it was negative. I am not pregnant with Aiden's baby. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. <sighs> okay, so what was all that about? Just the best news of the day. Really? Sure. Josh. Kendall, Hi. where have you been? I wanted to tell you to break a leg. Oh, thank you. Um, I Have you seen Zach? I, I can't find him anywhere. No, why? Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, I just, you know, it's crazy here and everything. So um, I'm going to go talk to press. OK. OK. The past four years have been tough on all of us. Really? Because you seem to be doing all right for yourself. You got the company, family, wife, my son. We both love Spike, and we both love Kendall. Kendall is my wife. Whatever relationship you two had was over long before I came into the picture. You walked out on her more than once, and I think somewhere in there has got to be a memory of that that's crystal clear. I never, ever meant to hurt Kendall. We did hurt her. You abandoned her. You toyed with her. And then you fell in love with her best friend. And you broke Greenlee's heart and left Kendall carrying your baby. OK, so I'm not the only guy in the room that's made mistakes. I get that. It's nothing to do with me or you. It has to do with Kendall. She deserves a little bit of peace. Trust me. That's exactly what I want to. So I've been doing a little bit of thinking. What if I think that Kendall would be happier with me? You think that, you're dead wrong. You know, if there is one thing that I remember from my life, it's that I was a pretty good con man. This ought to be interesting. Which means that I can smell a fraud a mile away. You mean me. What if you just got everybody snow and Zach? I mean, you try to be this white knight, this protector of all women, but wasn't it your ex-girlfriend that shot me in the head while she was gunning for Kendall? Easy. How exactly did you make Kendall fall for you? I don't know, man. I just loved her deeper than any man ever has. We belong together. You gotta accept that. I'm not gonna accept anything that doesn't feel right to me. You don't deserve Kendall. First true thing you said all day. But she chose me. You can't change it. And you know, if you want to live in the past, that's great. But if you do want a future for yourself, time for you to move on. Now. Show to support the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement. Fusion is a company created by women for women, and we could not be more excited to be a part of this great cause. Heart disease is one of the leading causes of death for women today. But Campbell's is determined to fight the disease with an entire line of heart healthy products. Yeah. Yeah. and statistics on all of Campbell's Heart Healthy products in your welcome packet. That's right, and let me tell you, your gift bags are filled with Prego Heart Smart Spaghetti Sauce. We like that, okay. Healthy Request Soup. Oh, I think so. And of course, plenty of V8 V Fusion. And last but not least, some of Fusion Cosmetics' hottest products. Love the name, by the way. Yeah, me too. Okay, so, without further ado, Let's bring out the host of this event, a woman who epitomizes glamour and female empowerment, the one and only Erica Kane. <laughs> hey. Hey, 
Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Oh, okay. Mm. Very hot. Hey. Hey. Are, are you are you still up for this? I'm excited for Emma. Well, I'm I'm so glad you're both here. I really am. Are you sure you're right? You seem a bit frazzled. Is everything okay? Yeah. Actually, it might be uh, good news. We keep a secret. 